welcome in this video i'll explain you how to control four dc motor using one hp drive h bridge drive module so in the last video i explained you about the comparison between the l298 and db and drv so if you want to learn the comparison first you can uh, check the link given in the description so I will not explain the detail about the H bridge and uh, which one is the best so that I already explained in the last video so here I will explain you how to control the four motors using single H bridge drive here I show the most common three types DB, L298 and DRV uh, H bridge drives normally we control two motors because each H bridge drive I see internally contain two H bridge circuits so normally we can control uh, two motors but in some projects for example if you want to make the quad cutter in quad cutters all motors rotate in one direction you don't need to move the motor in reverse direction so in such project where you don't need to move the motor in the worst direction you just need to move the motor in one direction so using single edge bridge IC or the uh, this drive or any of these you can control the four motors so how to control let's go down and here you can see I add the simulation so let me show you directly the simulation here here you can see one two three four motors are connected if i run the simulation so you can see all motors are moving but i am using one edge bridge and uh, driver ic i'm not using two edge bridge normally if we want to control four you need to use two edge bridge ic's so how let's stop this and let me explain you first how we can connect and you need to understand the basic logic first normally what happens if I go to the last video some detail each HP drive contains two H bridge inside I see so this is the shape of H bridge I see uh, inside the equivalent circuit is like this so for example if switch one this and these are closed current flow in this direction from left to right if we close this and this switch the current flows from right to left in the load so the change here the direction of flow of current in load is not same so the change of direction can change the movement of motor forward or reverse so normally for one motor we use one edge bridge and each drive contains two edge bridge so we can connect two motors so if i go to the data sheet of any edge bridge for example drv i have and db i have here so let me show you how the original edge bridge look like inside the circuit this is the real edge bridge that the edge bridge drive contain i'm taking it from the data sheet you can see db6612 fng data sheet I also have the DRV both are almost same so what is this here you can see we have the four MOSFETs what happens here we apply the MCU signal here at the input if the MCU signal is high one MOSFET is closed one is open so if the upper MOSFET is closed it means we get output high here and if the lower MOSFET is closed and upper is open we get zero here so the complete edge bridge is here you can see so here you can see normally one edge bridge control one motor here if you have want to control two motors with one edge bridge each edge bridge drive contains two edge, edge bridge circuits for example here is the output one here is the output two you connect the one part of motor at this point and other part you connect to GND 
and you connect the second motor at 2 and the other part connect to G and D. So here as I show here you can see one part of motor is connected to motor A normally is A01 and A02. A01 normally connected to the one side of motor and A02 other side of motor. What I did I just connect A01 one side of motor and other side of motor I connect to the main power supply. A02 one side of motor and other side of all motor connected to the main power supply. So in that case you can control two motors with one edge bridge. So does this affect the current rating because normally if I go for the TB here you can see for the TB here is the current rating for the TB uh, driving current is for L298 is 2 ampere for TB is 1.2 ampere so this is for single motor if you connect uh, for two motor if you connect this means 1.2 means 1.2 amperes on each channel each channel mean both motor can take 1.2 1.2 amps so totally it can provide 2.4 but for single motor cannot be go more than 1.2 so if we connect four motors so does it goes to 0 0.6 or it still remain 1.2 for each motor so here you can see I, I can tell you that if you connect four motors this will remains 1.2 amps for each motor so all four motors can take 1.2 ampere so how they can take basically this rating is for this MOSFET for example if we see here for this MOSFET for example in normal case you connect the motor between these two 0 and 1 so if this is short circuit and this is short circuit the current flow will be like this so it's mean these two MOSFETs current rating is 1.2 ampere and if this and this one is close the current will flow in this direction so it's mean the current rating of these two MOSFET is 1.2 ampere so if you are using two separate motor one is here and one is here so current will flow in this direction here and go to ground flow from this MOSFET and go to ground because these both MOSFET can um, handle 1.2 amps of current so if you connect the four motors so the current rating for each motor will remain same so here is the my website okay here is the configuration uh, so you can download later I also upload the Arduino code here in this code um, let me explain you little about the code uh, what I did in the schematic first if you see I all PWM pins connected to high power uh, logic high and STB Y is also logic high I just controlling two pins um, for, for four motor uh, each MCU pin control one motor so one motor the best benefit here is we only use one MCU pin for each motor you don't need to use a lot of pins for uh, four motors so only one MCU pin can control motor but you need to remember this MCU pin must be the PWM pin if you want to control the speed because the PWM pin can control the motor speed so next here is the code I give as an example motor A1, A2, B1, B2 4 motors A1 I assign pin 11 A2 10 6 and 5 these are pins are PWM pin on the Arduino MCUs so next here I set up all the pin as output so here I write one function as a move so that this function is simple you can download this code and run and you 
can play with this and then you can see how it works so that was all about it if you have any question or any suggestion you can write the comment thanks for watching